everyone, today I'm going to make this carry bag um, with the Japanese fabric. I got it from Tokyo recently. It's very cute and um, it's a cotton material. So now to make these bags, I need to have uh, 43 centimeters wide plus 27 centimeters long fabric, and I need two. So we put this again for the supporting materials and also the lining. So we got front and the back and the lining. And on top of that, I got another materials, um, another piece which is for the head heading. Well, I mean, I mean the heading. This is the top, uh, which is I got um, this one is eight centimeters times twenty six centimeters long. So I've got one front and one at the back I need two set because this the back's going to be one front and one at the back and then small pieces for um, attaching the handles to the body and I've got two handles yeah. so the first steps I'm going to stitch it all around like this just so we secure the outer layer to the supporting layer so I'll do this first and that one and then i'm going to show you we have to fold it here to make that shape and attach to the top so i'm going to show you in the line i have combined it this one together on top and what you need we need to do the fold so we find a center point and every single two centimeters we mark one gap two gap three gap and four gaps so what you need to do is fold it two centimeters and fold it two centimeters and we have this center point and then we have a stitch there and secure it okay now see i've done this Then I'm going to put this one on top and stitch it all here and fold it. Okay. Now you can see I stitch it up there. Okay. Now the next step is I'm going to add this handle on top and do this together okay so we've got this piece going to stitch it and wrap it around and stitch it and going to insert there stitch it up like that okay you need to find a center point here and stitch it let's see now i made this strip and i don't want to put it in there okay and this one for the other side and i'm going to stitch it up here the best way is to make sure that you've got a center point and stitch it all along and make sure here when you stitch it here um, maybe reverse it so we can secure it make sure because this is where the stress is so i'm going to make it double line okay now you can see they're stitched up there so the next steps is we put the single fabric single straps make sure that's facing the same direction and we stitch it up there okay now this is the part that lining because later on we're going to fold it up you show it it's one shot it's going to be in, inside so now i'm going to put the lining attached to this one so same thing make it make the pleats in the middle and then fold it inside out and 
basically the same as this okay so now I have done the handle attached to this top the body and the lining on the other side so we repeat the same thing on the other side then we'll show you how to combine it together Hi. so now I've got the front and the back together so the best way to combine it just basically open it and line them up together and we leave the eight centimeters gap on top and then stitch it all around corners here and the other two so now it's ready to fold and make sure this yeah, might be slightly tight because I only a little small Now it's ready. See, I have ironed a bit on the top. It's all nice and neat. And also, I have added my label. And don't forget, at the end, you need to stitch up that gap at the bottom. And then it's all ready to go. Hope you like it. Bye.